MGAS, monoclonal gammopathy of anatomic significance, is a very common uh, disorder. It increases uh, when people get older and in the population uh, of 80 years and older, MGAS can be prevalent as much as 10% of the population. These patients are generally asymptomatic, but for us as clinicians, these patients are important because we have to check um, whether there is transformation towards uh, a malignancy such as myeloma or lymphoma. And then we also have to be very careful when we have an, an MGUS patient to see whether he or she has systemic manifestations that are attributable to the M protein that is produced by the plasma cell uh, disorder. Because very rarely the M protein that is produced in MGUS patients may either deposit in tissues and cause tissue damage, or the M protein that's produced can function as an autoantibody, bind to cells in the, in the human body and cause uh, in that way tissue damage. And when you have these problems uh, caused by the M protein, you are justified to give a therapy that eradicates this plasma cell disorder, although it's often very small, it's very uh, important to eradicate it so that the M protein production stops, tissue damage stops and the uh, yeah, patient gets better in the end. So rare disorders produced by small clones, uh, but we have to be aware of those clones and uh, uh, this was actually uh, the main topic of my workshop.